Lockie has recently retired. <laughs> Let's go into that a bit first. What what brought on that uh, retirement decision? Um, yeah, um, like I, it had sort of been on my mind for a little while. Um, you know, I mean, as an athlete, you sort of have your ups and downs and stuff. And you know, retirement, you know, when you have been doing it for a while, does become one of those thoughts that you that you do have. Um, you know, I'd have been through it before and sort of been able to put it off and sort of re motivate myself and keep going. But um, I just found it coming on more and more. And um, especially when we started traveling and just the competing side of things. Um, yeah, I just sort of decided. Um, just, just didn't have the fight anymore. Didn't have that aggressiveness. Um, you know, when it came to racing and things like that. You know, I remember when I was 20, it was me against the world, and yeah. I wanted it, and just wanted to fight, fight, fight. Whereas, being a bit older now, I just sort of want to relax and, yeah. and you know, sort of do the things I've always wanted to do and and stuff. And um, yeah, so I thought, you know, it, it was it was a very hard decision. I mean, being only less than a year out for qualifying for the Olympics for us. Um, you know, it's Big not decision. it's not exactly. Uh, you know, sort of a good moment, I guess. But yeah. I mean, you know, I guess there is never a good time that it feels yeah, to retire, time, you know, yeah. but um, it just felt like timing was right. You know, yeah. it was my time to sort of step step back and um, sort of uh, do something else. So now you've got your music with Haybacks, yeah. your little acoustic duo. What else does the future hold for you now that you've hung up the boots? Um, look, I mean, I still very much love the sport and I've learned and gained so much from skating that it would, it would really be um, a bit of a waste to just turn my back on it yeah. and throw it away and, and you know I think the things that I've learned are pretty invaluable and you know not everyone gets to go to the Olympics once let alone twice so I think I have quite a lot to sort of offer to other people so um, you know I'm interested in doing you know, you know some like mentoring and motivating um, you know some sort of cancelling side of yeah. things um, you know with you know, kids going through school and sport, juggling that at the same time. Um, but even just sort of athletes that are in their height of their career, but yeah. struggle. I um, feel like I've learned a lot, been through a lot, you know, injuries and mentally as well. So, you know, I feel like I could really sort of give back and um, doing some assisting with um, with my coach. Um, so I still sort of uh, involved with the team that I was a part of. So it's good. So, yeah, I think, I think I'll sort of look down that and obviously... Uh, music as well you know yeah. hopefully we can be famous <laughs> <laughs> hey Max, just a sly yeah. plug right there yeah. um and now to finish off what would your advice be to any maybe school students that are coming towards athletic uh professionals how would how what would be your advice for them to juggle everything um biggest things is you know you just gotta you just gotta follow your dreams i guess you know if it's something that you really want to do and you're very committed to it then um you know just go for it you know the people that you know love you and support you will always be there yeah. um you know i know it's hard juggling with school but as long as you just communicate with your school what's going on and you know get them on board to support you and and stuff then um you know i guess sky's the limit go as yeah. far as you want i mean you know aim for the olympics go for it does happen do it twice <laughs> do it twice if you can <laughs> nice. um but yeah i mean i think it's just sort of um yeah just following your dreams and just sort of trying to get everyone on board with you. Nice. Well, wise words from Lachlan Hay. Thank you very much for the chat, Lachlan. Good luck for everything in your future. Thank you, Thank you very much. This has been Steph Frick reporting for whoone.net.au, brought to you by the Motor Accident Commission. And remember, guys, your future's bright if you always wear a seatbelt, so strap yourself in for the ride.